Hi there, you're with Craig. Welcome to day 13 of my 30 day video challenge. And today we're going to look at what is important when you're buying old domain names. Now this question came in today uh, from Punadeep. I'm going to take you over and show you the question shortly. And it's a really good question and it warrants a video. I did have something else planned for today, but I think this is actually a really good one. So I've just bought a new screen that's right in front of me this way. This is my laptop that I'm actually recording on. So I will be looking at this screen when we go there. So let's dive into YouTube. Let's look at the video, uh, the question that he asked, and then we'll dive in and answer it. Uh, these are the three things that I look for. So the first one is the age of the domain. <coughs> Excuse me. The older the domain is, normally the better it is if it's had content on it. The second thing is, has the domain had good content on it? So when I say good content, I mean, you know, articles, was it a proper website, those sorts of things you're looking for. So you want it to be a good quality website. And I'll show you a way to find that out very quick shortly. Are the backlinks from genuine websites and do they still exist? That's the critical thing. So a lot of these domain, uh, the backlink checking tools, they show backlinks that don't exist anymore. So you've got to double check. And I think SE ranking is probably the best one I've found for being reliable. So we'll show you that now. So let's just dive over now to, we will go to uh, expireddomain.net. And if you're already, it already logs you in. If you're a member, it's free to join. So once you're logged in, you'll get this page here. Just click on deleted.com and then move down again and click on deleted.com. And that'll bring up 2.3 million deleted domain names. Now be very careful because on the right hand side here, it tells you if the domain is registered or not. So I've got very excited by a lot of domain names, gone through, done the research and found out they were already registered. So just be careful on that. So what we want to do is go to show filter, which is there. And let's put in, uh, let's try the most competitive market in the world, weight loss. And see if we can find something decent for there. So we go apply filter. And then what we want to do here is the backlinks. So you can click on that and see all the sites with you know, 19,000 backlinks. But I like to start off with the age of the domain. So click on that. And that goes back to 2001. So that's pretty good. Uh, then what we're looking for is the backlink. So let's just dive in, have a bit of a look at what we've got. We'll do a sort by that. Have a bit of a scroll through. Okay, so there's one here from 2008. Um, got 607 backlinks. And it's not a bad domain. TrueWeightLossTips.com I like the word true in that for some reason, but uh, 2008, that's that's old that's that's reasonable let's have a look so we'll just copy that we'll go over to se ranking and put it in and see what she's like now se ranking gives you 20 domains a day so i'll put that one in and we'll go search and it's back it's got a domain trust of two so that's better than nothing 16 referring domain names so we can go and have a quick look at the domains and they look reasonable not great but reasonable and then we go down to here to backlinks and go to active and we can see the actual backlinks themselves so this one here uh still june 2021 so it should still be current let's go and have a look health and fitness store we'll click on that one and then do a right click go view source and we go there it is okay and we'll go true and there it is here true weight loss tips .com. so we've still got the backlinks they're still current uh let's look at another one just randomly let's see ranking bravenet.com that looks a little bit dodgy in fact it should tell us here anyway uh, when it was last seen, so 9th, 19th of July. So, true, yep, there's 10 of them in here. No, hang on, let's go true, wait. Yep, there's a backlink there. Okay, so these backlinks are still current. Uh, that site's not not great. Let's see what else there is. 
self growth that's from the same one let's just jump down the track a little bit here so we've got a lot of backlinks from that one site which you know is not ideal but it's okay very uh, very good let's try that one yep so it looks like we've got two in there yeah okay so you know this these domains still exist uh, this is slightly better. It's a site about weight loss. It looks like I'm not sure. I mean, these aren't these are not great backlinks to be fair, but they're they're reasonable. They're reasonable. I mean, these will be better than starting off with nothing at all. Just for the sake of the exercise here, I mean, I would probably I would probably buy that domain if I was looking for. Uh, here we are. True, I mean, I actually like that domain, TrueWeightLossTips.com. I think it's not a bad looking domain name. It's reasonable. Uh, has it got any content on it? That's what we didn't check. Let's have a look. So we'll go back to 2008. So what I did there was just to click on this thing here, the ABY. I clicked on there, and you end up on the way on the Wayback Archive. It's had plenty. Oh wow, it's been indexed um, many, many times. There we go. Let's have a look. What was there? Okay, so it's had content on it. It's just a landing page. It doesn't matter. Look, it's got some content around weight I mean you prefer that you would see a proper site but if you were looking for you know just something to build a site on um, 100 weight loss tips here I, I don't mind that domain name at all trueweightlosstips.com I think that would be I would probably buy that one it's, it's reasonable so look, that's probably it guys I don't want to make this too long um, so the things you're looking for once again just to recap you want the age of the domain name, so 2008 is good. I mean, 2000 is better, but 2008 is okay. Uh, did it have content? Yes, it did. Was it was it great content? It was reasonable. Uh, are the backlinks from genuine websites? Sort of. Uh, these these ones I've shown you, like this one here. I mean, that's a, a weight loss site, so you could say it sort of is, but it's a pretty unusual looking site. Uh, but it's it's good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. So I would say that one sort of ticks the box is, but there are better domains out there, of course, but you need to you know, keep looking and you'll find something potentially better. That one's not too bad. Anyway, what I want to show you before you go is just how the pricing works at SE ranking, because I had a, a few people contact me say, oh, you know, it's quite expensive, etc. Uh, what the way I use it to make it cheaper is I always have weekly ranking. So come over here and you click on weekly and straight away the price goes down considerably. Now they do, when you first land on the page, they have it uh, for an annual payment. If you just go by monthly, it's still very reasonable. It's only a few dollars extra and you can go month by month if you want to save, you know, committing to a 12 month plan. But they're very generous uh, with their things. So you can have 5,000 keywords. It says 250. They actually, it actually means 5,000. You've got to read how they work it out. You can have 10 websites that you're um, tracking. You can do, you know, it tells you what you can do, 30,000, 4,000 backlinks, 20 backlinks per day you can check, or 20 domains at least. It's very, very generous, you know, if you're just a, a small uh, a small operator like myself. If you are an agency, it's still very uh, reasonable and it's still way cheaper than some of the bigger tools who are around, I think I was paying $179 per month on Ahrefs. So, you know, this does exactly the same thing I find it a little bit easier to use. I think the UX is a lot better. These guys are really, really cool to deal with. They're very, very helpful. The tool is good. It's excellent. I can't fault it. So just thought I'd show you that there because it has caught a few people out. So just click on weekly and yeah, you can go through, pay three months. You want to save 5%. I, I just pay monthly. Uh, it's just, it's only a few dollars extra and it doesn't make a lot of difference. So there it is. Okay, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. Thank you also to... Uh, Ponadeep. Now, Ponadeep, let me know if I'm actually pronouncing your name correctly. I hope I am. Uh, but thank you for your question, mate. That was a really good question. That sort of helped me along today with getting uh, a video up. But I got something planned for tomorrow, which I was going to do today. So uh, visit us tomorrow. That will be that will be day. What will it be? Day thirteen. Day fourteen. I'm actually losing track. <laughs> anyway, whatever it is, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate you watching. Bye.